Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. I'm sorry, but he looked like somebody with a phlegm problem just sneezed all over him. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. If you're new here, it's so good to have you here. Today we are watching The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1, Chapter 17, The Apostate. I am so excited to watch Season 3 of The Mandalorian. This has got to be my favorite Star Wars show easily. I mean, I love Grogu, I love Mando, and I've just been loving the show so far. It just feels so cinematic and like we're watching bits of the live action movies, but in a series form. I'm also just really excited because this season came out this year. And since I've started this channel, I've been going in like timeline order. So it's taken a long time to get to something that I can watch pretty closely to when it was released again. So we obviously watched season one and season two, but we also watched the book of Boba Fett. So it was kind of like a season two and a half of The Mandalorian. We saw then we saw Grogu with Luke and how Luke made Grogu make a choice between the Jedi life or the Mandalorian life. Obviously, we found that Grogu chose Mando, which makes me kind of sad because I still don't understand why he can't do both. I really hope that becomes a possibility for him. But at the end of the day, if it had to be a choice, I am kind of glad that he chose Mando because it just seems like they're so good together and I was really really sad when they were separated. I'm super excited to see what this season has in store for us so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed I would really appreciate that. Of course a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon I'm four weeks ahead so if you're interested in early access and full uncut reactions you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right let's go. This is a kind of scary intro. Who is hammering? Was it that lady that we just saw? The person who makes the uh, armor and stuff? I think it is. I think I remember her doing... Yeah, I think I remember her doing it like that in Boba Fett. Ooh, it is her. It's kind of interesting that we're starting with her. Cause I kind of thought we would never see her again. <laughs> she certainly didn't want to see Mando again. Oh, is she making a helmet? Maybe I was wrong. Already cool music. I freaking love this show. Just for the music. <gasps> oh, it is a helmet. Who is that for? Brand new and shiny and blue. Oh, who are you? Oh my god, I want that helmet. I want a Mandalorian helmet so bad. I'm going to Disney next month and I just might get one. <laughs> I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors. I swear on my name and- Is it possible that this is a flashback and this is Din? And the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. Doesn't really look exactly like Pedro Pascal, but like, you could see roughly. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. And there's like a ton more Mandalorians here, which makes me think that it is a flashback because obviously we don't really have that many. <gasps> Whoa! That is a huge crocodile. Man, Steve Irwin could take that easily, though. Do, ki do the kids ever grow out of their helmets and then they have to get new ones at their age? Ooh. Yikes. Dang, that did, like, nothing to it. It's because it has that, like, armored back on him. Holy cow. Don't tell me the kid's gonna save everyone. Uh, kid, what are you doing? Is that our Mando? 
I mean, it's our music. And that's the new ship we got. So this isn't a flashback. Show us Grogu. Where is he? He he was in that little bubble for himself. <laughs> there he is. His head looks smaller. Did they make his head slightly smaller? Like, it's smaller this way. Like, look at how wide that thing is. It doesn't look as football shaped. But we only saw him for a brief moment, so I could be wrong. No, I swear his head is, like, slightly smaller. I don't know. The creed teaches us of redemption. Redemption yeah. is no longer possible. Since the dis so we should figure out a new way to redeem ourselves, because but that's ridiculous. Mandalore still exist? Oh? Is this inscription not Mandalorian? Did he go there? They came upon it by trade from a traveler who claimed to have visited the surface of Mandalore. Oh, wow. Who could that have been that went there? Lived in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Then by creed, the decree of exile will be lifted. And wow. We're going to go back to Mandalore? That's so exciting. And scary. How can you say no to those puppy this dog eyes? Way. Yeah. You can only say this is the way. <laughs> God. No, because I would for sure get very motion sick here. <gasps> oh my god, it's a freaking pergil! Isn't it? Those are the creatures from Rebels. Oh wow, there's a lot. And Grogu can see them? That's so cool. Oh, he gets to sleep in his arms. That's so cute. Welcome to Navarro, independent trade anchor and outer rim hyperlane port. Please state the purpose of your visit. Here to meet an old friend. A uh, Navarro? Welcome to the port of Navarro, gem of the outer rim. Our esteemed high majesty. Wow, this place looks so good. <laughs> Grogu's like. Why aren't we stopping to eat any of these very good-looking foods? I'm scared of those things. A lot has changed around here. Yeah, it certainly has. Oh, that's the droid that saved him. Mando! Oh my god! Look at that drip! He's living a good life now. Straight Karga. That's High Magistrate Karga to you. Hi, Magistrate. Things have changed. So good to see you. Welcome back. Doesn't even look like the same place. That's really nice that they made a statue for that droid. And really sweet that Mando pays his respects to it. I'm confused. I thought you had completed your mission, but you're still running around here with the same little critter. Yeah, he's kind of ours now. And also, like we said, his name is Grogu. Please respect that. Where you're from, you may be an apostate, but here, <laughs> you'd be landed gentry. Grogu is getting so much force practice with just food. It can wait. But it's pirates! Pirates in the courtyard. Pirates? What pirates are we speaking of? This, this is a school. <laughs> well, that explains why she wouldn't let me inside. That's really funny. They're trying to go into a school for a drink. They built this saloon. Pirate King Gorian mm. Shard's name. He made a saloon into a school. There lies the confusion. Now bring us a drink. Is there a problem uh, here, Magistrate? Yeah, are we gonna have to do something about them? You paid us for murder and mayhem inside these doors. Hmm. It's beginning to seem like we do have a problem. Try me. Try him. 
Grogu's like, does anyone have any snacks, by the way? <laughs> Tell Captain Grogu Shark that Navarro is no longer friendly to pirates. Yeah. His strip doesn't just look good when he walks around, it looks good when he wins fights. Ooh. Nicely done, Mando. Good instincts. Hopefully the kids in the school did not see that. He'll let it be known that Navarro is respectable now and not to be trifled with. Hopefully. Hopefully he won't come back with, like, more people. The service droids scrub up out there. Yes, oh my god! He even has two mini droids to hold his cape? That's wild. And what came of Gideon? He was sent off to a new Republic war tribunal. Hmm. So are you not gonna see Moff Gideon again? I need him back. Oh? IG-11 <laughs> was destroyed on the line. Huh? These are his parts, are they not? I mean, what's left of them? Yeah, it looks like some of them are real. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore Mandalore. And he's that droid. <laughs> Fair. He used to hate droids. This was a droid that made him not hate droids. He doesn't trust all of them, but he trusts this guy. And that was like such a great arc for him because of course he's not gonna like droids because of what happened to him and his parents. So I really like that bond with this droid. Um, I mean, he's powering up, but he doesn't have any legs. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, God. Oh, no, not him powering up with the bounty for Grogu. Oh, that's like actually really upsetting. I hope Mando doesn't like take this too much to heart. Whoa. All right. That was Nobody's slightly brutal. I think yeah, that's literally using a bust of his head. So now what? It's too big a job for you to do by yourself. Mando's gonna try to reprogram. He really is, doesn't want to just try a different droid. Who? Oh. The Ancelans. Oh? What do you want? Who are those little fellers? Have we met those guys before? They're tiny. And Zelens. Oh my god. Finally, Grogu has people of his own size to hang out with. Okay. I don't understand. Do you speak Hadiz? He was saying it's broken. That's no good. I need this one. This one is oh, my friend. That's funny. Look at him sitting cross legged in there. I got it. Buy new droid. This one, Poodoo. Poodoo? That's funny. If you can get a new part, he says he can fix it. Could we get it from the Jawas? <laughs> Krog is actually bigger than them. Sorry about that. He's young. That's so funny. Krog just wants to squeeze them. It's like the only thing he can squeeze. And he's bigger than. Oh. All right, so now we got to find the part. Does that mean that we're going to go back to the Jawas or what? Because you never know where you might be headed next. Mm. This here is your hyperspace map. You did cool. We're getting lessons. This. Oh, so any proximity warning indicator. Hang on, kid. We got pirates. Oh, no. The same pirates. Gorian. It Not is. It's vain. Gorian Shard should stick to hijacking and ransoming. Yeah. He certainly should. Certainly, they can't go as fast as our ship can go. <laughs> Having to put Grogu back down since they were upside down, that's funny. Oh god, with all the asteroids? Scary. You should hide on one, like Obi-Wan did. 
like speed across them and then hide on one. Although they seem like they're really close to him, so I'm not sure that would work right now. Oh? Ho oh ho! Nice job, Mando. Sneaky! He's using a little bit of the sneaky Obi-Wan plays. Bringing the Mandalorian to you, Captain. Oh no. Is he? Is he just strapping him? Oh god. Oh no, we need to get out. Dank Farrick. Dank Farrick is right. Where do we go? What do we do? You're out, gun. Oh. I have no quarrel with you, Guardian Shard. That guy looks like Davy Jones. Surrender your ship and I'll spare your life. I'm sorry, but he looked like somebody with a phlegm problem just sneezed all over him. <laughs> Later. And that is oh. Cool. Who's here? I don't know. It, it looks cool and all, but if you ask me, it needs a little color. Some plant life or something. Who is this? Bo Katan. It is Din Djarin. Bo Katan? Oh. I wonder how she will feel about us. When I returned without the Darksaber, my forces melted away. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what I was wondering about. Then you lead them. Wave that thing around. And they'll do whatever you say. So what, she just sits here all day doing nothing? Applied Beskar ore to our ancestors and the rest is superstition. That planet mm. has been- Dang, she's really given up. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. Well, we're really going there. I do feel bad for her, but it's like... Come on. You're really just gonna give up like that? Friends, thank you so much for watching The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1 with me. I mean, a great start. I'm actually kind of surprised at how short that episode was, but I think it's really just kind of placing us in time and where we're going. I think that was a great opener. We got to see Navarro. We obviously have Grogu. We got to see Bo-Katan, which is kind of interesting. I was, as soon as I saw that it was her, I was kind of apprehensive at how she will treat Mando because of the fact that she wanted the Darksaber and he ended up with it, rightfully so. It's really sad that she like lost her following and therefore she lost her like life drive, but I think it's even more sad that she gave up that easily. I mean, she's been working on that for so long. It's just kind of sad that, like, she has so much disdain for it. Although I understand it. I understand where she's coming from because the Mandalorian people and their tribes have been through so much. It's probably just, like, very difficult for her to have to think about all the time and see it happen again and again. But yeah, I mean, I think it's really cool that we're going to be going to Mandalore and trying to find those mines and seeing if the planet is poisoned. Pretty wild. I'm very excited for that. Thank you again for watching with me. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, please don't get arrested, and I will see you then. Goodbye.